What's up everybody, Ruby Garcia with eXp Realty and I wanted to give you a quick market report of April 2023, Fayetteville, North Carolina. So what I'm gonna do is just share my screen real quick so you can check this out. We're just gonna jump right into it. All right, check this out, check this out. So here is Fayetteville Real Estate. Now this is pretty cool. This is the most popular um, uh, property <laughs> at the moment. Let me, here, give me one second. Let me just make sure that the share screen is yeah, see, I wanted it to be like this. Um, all right, so yeah, this right here is one of our agents listings, actually. So this is pretty cool, the most popular one. The most expensive one at $1.4 million um, in Swan Island or on Swan Island, Swan Island Court. And then you have the least expensive at 59,000. Of course, these are on market, not off market deals. Uh, if you wanted to discuss off-market deals, we could go into that as well. Uh, that is where we bring in other investors uh, who find off-market deals, not only for us because we're also investors, but for our clients as well. So let me just scroll down here. Here is the Fayetteville listing summary. Right now, we have almost 1,400 listings, 1,384 listings active at the moment. Now, this does include land and everything else. So, uh, you know, this isn't just uh, residential homes. Right here, we have 65 new listings that just hit the market. We do have 234 listings that have reduced their price. Now, looking at this, you don't know if the agent just priced it too high or, you know, the client and the agent went back and forth and, and finally figured out that, hey, the market's not accepting a certain price and had to lower it. Um, most agents, like our team, uh, do price right. So we do get... Uh, we, we're still getting multiple offers on our listings at the moment. So um, we do pretty good. Open houses. We have two new open houses, 15 foreclosures and two short sales. Now, this was a little bonkers a uh, few years back. Uh, you know, we had a lot more investing opportunities. Not as much if you're looking at foreclosures and, and short sales. This is pretty cool because now we're looking at the town versus county sales. So Fayetteville as a city versus the county, Cumberland County. Our average sales price Three, 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 three. So if three is your lucky number, here it is right here. We are about 90%, 96% of the average county um, sales price. But it, interesting, you know, when I first got into real estate, we were looking at half this as an average sales price. So a few years ago when the market started to go a little crazy, then you did see where, you know, it just, it got a little crazy. And the demand really started to push it up the price. And you're seeing that still reflective to today. Now, we're still, again, running into multiple offer situations and it is getting a little hot, but it is, it's interesting to see that it's doubled since I've been in the business. Been in the business for eight or nine years. All right, let's get back to it. You have the average square uh, foot, square foot in a Fayetteville home, about 2,200, as the county is 2,285. So as you look, we're right there. And then average price per square footage. Now, this one's interesting, too, because 146, I remember when there was a time where they said this wouldn't happen. And here we are, about 96% of the average of the whole county. Walk score. So, you know, depending on how far you can walk to things, uh, we are, uh, we're over. <laughs> it looks like we are over the county. The average year bill in Fayetteville, 1988, 1988. Um, in the county, 1992. So that's super interesting. And if you look at that, now I will say, like, again, we do own investment property. So when we see that 1988 uh, stat, that's so true because, you know, a lot of our investing in off-market properties are the older models uh, that we have to go in and rehab to, to bring to a, uh, a better situation for the potential client. So it is interesting. And you do see that. Um, you let me just scroll down average days on the website in Fayetteville we have 73 the county being 73 as well this is cool so as you see down here the short sales and foreclosures pretty much flat pretty much flat from December if you look back now what's interesting if you look at the reduction in average sales prices it does start to go up the average reduction but look at this as the supply goes up the average starts to flatten out and then boom drops. So as you saw the amount of average sales prices uh, being um, reduced, look at this. We're still throwing more on the market. Now this large drop, this is only because it's, this is the first month of, or first day of May. 
So we have no stats. So kind of ignore this part, but check that out. As you can see, there is a correlation of how many listings are going to hit the market. Um, new listings being in red and then the blue being reduction in price. Um, and those are just the neighborhoods. What else I did here, let me share a screen real quick. I'm going to stop that and I'm going to bring it over to this. Um, homes for sale right now, we are up 1.3%. But you saw that in the chart, right? That we are going a little bit higher. About 700 homes new to the market. But if you look at the 30 day, so month over month, we're down 4.4%. Off market, we're up. So if you are an investor looking for these homes that are off market, this is your, this is, we're up almost 40%. Um, days on market, we are down. So what does that say, right? Homes are getting picked up faster month over month in the change at about 99 days on market, which we say, you know, it takes about th uh, 90 days from what we do today shows up about 90 days from now. That's just in the lead generation part of the business. Now, I know that's a totally different conversation, but it is interesting to see because as a real estate agent, the things that we do for marketing for listings or just getting potential clients, it's a 90 day process. Um, what we do today will only show up 90 days from now. So aspiring real estate agents, just know that it is not a it is definitely a delayed gratification. It is not a result that you're going to get tomorrow. Um, and that kind of reflects that. So scrolling down, um, average sales price or yep, average sales price or home price is down, but this is only over, remember the 30 day. This is so this is a 30 day run, obviously, down 0.3%. So really flat. We're flat. Again, this is not a number that we used to see in the last 30 days. Um, average price per square foot, 141. Look at that though. Um, this is interesting though. This has got to be skewed a little bit because we're not sure what type of homes are being measured and how well they're measuring. Um, that's That seems pretty large, actually. Um, and then we go back to some of those recent listings that we were just uh, uh, showing. But that's it, man. That's the real quick snapshot of the local market. And we like to go over that with you. So if you do have any questions, please look down below. Um, click any of the links in the description or just comment or just share with anybody who might want to know more information about the market uh, in April 2023. Now, again, if you do subscribe, you're going to be the an expert in your field of Fayetteville real estate. So just if you want to subscribe and you're going to be able to get us every single month talking about this city, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Now, I will be dropping other cities as well. So we'll look in the playlist. You might find a city or a town like Hope Mills, Rayford, or Southern Pines, Pinehurst, that you may have more intro, uh, more intro in more interest in that you could check out as well. Thank you so much. And again, if you have any questions, let me know.